Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can save your data in a CSV file or a database and the database we're going to use is SQLite. So to save data we first have to get the data from somewhere so I've decided to get some OHLC data from broker and for that I will use the Metatray 5 library to get the data and I've decided to get data on URESD daily time frame starting from 2021 until today. So here we simply connect to the platform, then request the data, and then we save the data inside a pandas data frame. So let me show you what this looks like. So here we have the data in an array that is later then saved in the pandas data frame. And this is the data that you want to save in a CSV or a database. So let me show you how you can save the data in a CSV file first. So to save the data in a CSV file, that is very simple. All you have to do is just add dot to csv after the data frame and then you just specify the name of that file so in this case i named the csv file euro usd daily dot csv and if you don't want to save the index the index is this value here you can set index is equal to false so after running this uh new CSV file will be generated inside the same folder as your Jupyter Notebook. And if you click on this file here, you will see the data, the OHSC data in your ESD. So you can send this data to someone if you want to share it, or you can use it for a future purpose if you want to read the data sometime in the future again. And now that I've mentioned reading data from CSV, so if you want to read the data later, you can use pd.readcsv and that will read your CSV file and then convert it to a pandas data frame. So in this case I have ohlcdf2 and this is a data frame that's reading from my CSV file eurousddaily.csv. So after running this we see that we have the exact same data frame as we have here. Alright so now you know how to save and read data from CSV files and let's now continue with databases. Working with databases in Python is very simple as SQLite 3 is already part of the Python standard library. So all we have to do is just import SQLite 3. To create the database or connect to a database, we'll use SQLite3.connect and then we specify the name of the database. And this part here we save inside con, which will be later used to read or write data to the database. So after running this, we can then save the data inside the database using ohlcdf.toSQL. And here we just have to specify the table name, which we created in the database. Here we use the connection parameter. So this is this part here. And if the table already exists, so if there's any table uh, that has a name uresdd1, then the data will be replaced with a new data. And again, if you don't want to save the index, you can set the index equals to false. So let me now run this. And now the data has been saved inside the database. So if we check our folder where the Jupyter Notebook is running, here we see traderpy.db will be created. And to read data from the database, we can now go to the second part here. And here we can write simple queries. So to read data from database, we can use the select command and we can select all. So this mask here represents all table columns from the table EuroUSDD1. And here we have our connection parameter, which is specifying from which database. So after running this, we now see all the data inside this database. And it is essentially the same as the data that we have requested from the broker here in the first part here and the advantage of databases is sometimes you don't want to request all the data sometimes you just want to just look at certain conditions so let's say i want to query data starting from november 2021 only so in that case we can modify our query to be so this part is the same so select all from your d d1 but where the time is greater or equal to 2021 11 zero one. So by running this, we now see that we only get a data frame that is starting from November 2021 until today.
Alright, we are now at the end of the video, so thank you for your attention. If you want to download my code, I will upload my Jupyter Notebook on my website. You can find the link to my website in the descriptions. I hope that you like my video, and I will be back with another one very soon. Bye!